We're in the office of UAB Offensive Coordinator, Royals Award semifinalist Alex Mortensen, who's going to help us break down some uh, key Alabama plays coming up in the Rose Bowl. First of all, Coach, thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. So you've been on the sidelines at Alabama for games like this. What's the stress level like in a college playoff game? I think, man, what's the stress level like? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe you get immune to it. Yeah. You know, and I think you, you, know, you, you get so prepared and, and obviously – you know, Coach Saban is so detailed and prepared. You, you don't I think you start to learn, kind of learn to live moment to moment. He preaches process so much. Right. I, think, I think you almost get brainwashed. And so sometimes you don't even think about, um, you know, the, where you're at in the game or, or the ramifications of each play. I think you just kind of get focused on, you know, each moment. Yeah. So you've picked some plays for us to uh, kind of look at what Alabama is trying to do in this game and what they've been doing this season. So let's let's go to the film. What do you got for us today? Okay. So you know, one. I mean, I haven't I haven't been at Alabama for a year, so I have I have no one. I wouldn't give away any secrets, and two, <laughs> I have no secrets to give away. That's right. So just to be clear, but you know, so I, and I haven't had a chance to watch him much here yeah. until recently because you know we we've been engulfed in our own season, and. You know, I think what no, what jumped out at me is, you know, looking at Milrow, you know, one of the things, you know, Coach Dover talks about is, you know, on offense, you want to be explosive and consistent. Right. And so, you know, Jalen Milrow, I think, has shown some very explosive traits, shown him, you know, early in his career. And then I think recently, just as I'm buzzing through this video, you're seeing, you know, consistency is a chain mover. Yeah. And, you know, I think, again, I'm going to, you know, go back and quote Coach Saban. He talks about, you know, sometimes quarterbacks playing like a point guard when you're really playing at a high level. You know, you don't want your playmaking to just be um, quarterback-centric, but you want the guys around you to make right, plays. Right. And so I think that, you know, is what's been interesting watching him. So, you know, this is a year ago. This is actually in, um, you know, the prior season. You know, Bryce Young uh, got hurt in this game. This is Arkansas on the road. And so, you know, Milrow here is going to scramble for a long run. So this is, you know, talking about that explosive component. You see his explosiveness as a, as a playmaker, um, you know, scoring from 70-plus yards out. So that's, you know, obviously part of what makes him dangerous, okay, or at least I say scoring, but changing the field position. And then this is this year. Okay, they're playing Georgia in the SEC championship. Now, you know, Alabama's got the lead here. If you look at this, it's 27-24, you know, two minutes and 52 seconds left. And so, they're, you know, they're trying to run the clock out here kind of in four-minute mode. And so you're going to see him run a direct quarterback run and, you know, for a pretty good gain here, an explosive run. So, again, this is part of, I think, a starting point where you say, well, what makes the guy dangerous is are these explosive qualities, you know, as a runner, as an athlete. But I think that, you know, is really selling him short right now in terms of the player he is if, if you just stop there. So moving forward, okay, now to me this is kind of where, it, you know, his, his play here recently gets interesting. So this is the Kentucky game. And you're going to see him drop back here and start to scramble. But notice his eyes. His eyes stay downfield. He keeps his ball, keeps the ball, you know, over his chest, two hands on it in a passing position. And he's going to scramble to throw down the field. And now that allows someone else to make a play. And now I think that's where you get really dangerous. Um, I'll show you another one here, uh, you know, against Auburn. So I think this play to me was really impressive. So you're going to see him drop back. And now if you look here, look at his eyes. So his eyes... If you look at his head, his eyes are over here, okay? And so he's exploring that part of the field. He's got pass rush, and the offensive line doing a good job in protection, running him behind the quarterback, but there's a little bit of pass rush, and you see a guy kind of gets his arm out on him, but he still keeps his eyes down the field, eyes and feet working together. He flips back and then finds an open receiver. So that's where, to me, you know, you see that he is, you know, getting other guys involved in the playmaking and exhausting his options. He's not just taking off and running, um, you know, I think that's what makes him dangerous right now is he's playing a bit like a point guard. You're going to see another one here against Georgia. They've got a play-action pass on. His eyes are down the field. So, you know, the idea here, obviously, is I'm, I imagine and certainly don't want to presume to know what Tommy Reese is telling him, but it looks like they're probably reading this top down. They're, they're, they're trying to bite a chunk off in some capacity with three deep routes. But pretty quickly, he fills soft coverage, all right, and then second-level defenders – you know, playing everything top down, and he gets the ball to the back quickly. And this is a second and short, or maybe a second and three, but this allows him to, to move the chain. So he's, he's becoming a really efficient chain mover. And I think that now, you, you couple that with the run game they already have. Um, you know, of course, we've already established his dynamic playmaking ability, but I think this, to me, as I'm just, you know, watching them as someone that hasn't really had a chance to follow their season close, but just watching it today, you know, I think these are things that really make them dangerous. And I'll show you one more here. 
just to kind of illustrate that one more time, um, you know, this is against Auburn. This is third down. And so, you know, they're emptying the backfield late. He drops back. Auburn's rushing three. And once again, you're going to see his eyes. You see the stripe of his helmet are to the right. Doesn't like what he has over here. So he moves on. Now his eyes go back to the left and still doesn't like what he has. But with Auburn rushing three, it's almost like he knows that he's got time. You right. know, he doesn't force the ball out. Um, and then he's going to scramble late after he's exhausted his options and keeps the drive alive, moves the chain. So, um, you know, those are a couple things to me that will be interesting to watch them as they go into the playoff here if, if, if he continues, you know, playing as his consistent chain mover. And then, you know, the other part of this too is now, um, you know, to take his ability away, to take the receiver's ability away, you know, now what else does that give you? You know, probably helps the run game too. You, uh, we, a lot of people talk about Bryce Young as a point guard distributor, and you're saying that's what Jalen Milrow is doing a lot of. I, right I think now. you, yeah. yes, I'm sorry to yeah. interrupt. No, no, I, no, I think that's what you see him yeah. grow into right now. And again, that's uh, I want to be very clear. Like I haven't like dissected every sure. game. I'm kind of watching um, pretty quickly, but that that to me is what it looks like he's playing like as a distributor of the ball. And you know, when you got a physical offensive line, you got really good backs. Um, you know, of course, you know, his playmaking ability has already been highlighted. Uh, his ability to pull the ball and run it, his ability to run it off scrambles. But now when you, 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 you add in this idea that he's playing like a distributor first, I think that makes him very, very dangerous. Yeah. He's UAB offensive coordinator, Alex Mortensen. Coach, thanks for breaking down the time for us. Thanks for having me.